That's the lift kit reveal. I hope you guys really like the lift kit. I love it. The 37 by 1350s are one of my like favorite, favorite combinations. And on this truck, it just, it looks killer. I don't think there's many Titans on the internet that are running 37s. I know there's a dude running 40s. I don't even know how he did that. You guys can see, we got the fender liner all trimmed. Uh, plenty to paint this later so then you don't even see it. And we got trimmed in the front. The lift kit, you guys saw the lift kit installation video. This is what it looks like in the finished product. I'm super happy with it. I think it looks awesome. Uh, restored the frame too, painted that. So we have drop star wheels. They are 20 by 12s and a negative 44 offset. And then we have 37 by 1350s. And uh, yeah, I went with the Recon Grappler. I've never gone with this tire. It's an all-terrain, but it's an aggressive, very aggressive all-terrain. So that's why I kind of went with it. Super happy. The truck did really good off-roading uh, through the sand. Did really good, I was pretty happy with it. As you guys know, the lift kit took like two months to install because we were waiting on parts. That was a little annoying, ball joints and tie rods held us up. But guys, uh, tell me what you guys think about the setup. Obviously, I don't have the front bumper yet. I'm planning in the next few weeks to get one that is much, much better uh, than nothing. And I may not even put my old one on because it's just so ugly because it's all dented up like right in there. I didn't think I was gonna have this truck lifted anytime soon, let alone this soon. Um, then that tire, one of the tires messed up and there we go, now I have it. So super excited um by the way that's my brother-in-law there's his truck a 1973 international harvester scout 2. yeah he was helping me with all the drone shots and all that like i said i'm super happy about it rides a little bit more rough than before uh just slightly uh nothing too bad it's not a cadillac anymore i guess but um yeah super happy with it no complaints at all but the beach is closing so we got to get going i'm not going to do any crazy off-roading just because uh you know, spinning the tires or anything because I don't have traction bars yet, traction bars yet, but I'm gonna be ordering them. So that'll be a video coming out soon. Hit the subscribe button so you don't forget that. home everybody so I wanted to keep you guys in the loop for what's happening next so the bumper like I said in the video earlier it was all dented up there you guys have probably seen that in previous videos and it does not look good to put it back on thanks for interrupting the video I don't want to really put it back on that's because it would look terrible I know that this doesn't look good but 
Um, it would look terrible and it would require so much trimming where I feel like it would stick out more than than this, honestly. Like it would require a lot. So I actually need to trim the inner fender even more. It's rubbing and it's pulling on it there. So I'm gonna have to trim it like another uh, inch, probably like right there, um, straight back. You guys can see the bend right there. So I'm gonna have to do more of that. So that's in the very immediate future. Probably just do that off camera, and a little boring. Fender liner needs to be trimmed. Plans for the truck in the future. So like I said, I have a really cool bumper picked out. It's just a really expensive. Spent a lot of money on the lift kit and stuff. And, all that so i don't really want to do it right now but in a few weeks i'll be doing it i want to do some color matching so i want this to be black i want these to be black the door handles and i want the mirror to be black i don't know what to do about the cummins logo because i think it looks so good in chrome but chrome won't really match anymore so maybe i'll have to do it in black or maybe i'll do black and then these inners in silver or something like that i don't know we'll figure it out then another extremely imperative part is the tailgate. You guys know that this was destroyed by a forklift operator and I haven't gotten around to getting a new one because um, they're so hard to find and I destroyed it even more um, in order to get into it one day. They are really hard to find. So if you guys know anyone with a Titan XD who doesn't care about their tailgate, maybe they got in a wreck um, or maybe they're willing to sell it or has an extra one or whatever, comment below and get in contact with me because I need one. I'm pretty desperate to do it. Any color, I'll paint it as long as it is the same style and matches um, along, around the year. I think the 2015 uh, Titans, which was the gas ones, or 13, I think 13 through like 20 something will match. So we'll, we'll see what we can do. But hit me up if you guys know anything. Undercoating. So you guys know I did the front and we took care of the front and it looked really, really good. Um, I kind of skipped the back. So I'd like to do the back soon. That's something we need to do. Next thing we're gonna be doing too is traction bars. I have them on order. They should be here in a few days. So uh, traction bars will be here. That's gonna be super exciting. I'm excited to use those. They say that it gives the truck a lot more of a good stiff feel and it won't be bouncing. When I was in two wheel drive on the beach, which was not the majority of the time, uh, the back was bouncing a ton. So I definitely need traction bars. Those will be here in a few days. I'm excited to make that video for you guys. Color matching, traction bars, tailgate, bumper, uh, I need new tunes. I don't like the tunes I have. They, whenever they, sh whenever you shift in them, they kind of feel weird. They feel like they feel like it's a manual and you're riding out the clutch, which I know sounds really weird, but that's how it feels. So I'd like to do that. Uh, step bars. I need step bars. I need new lights under the truck. I took out my underglow because I didn't like the whole three million color thing. It looked a little tacky, and also it did only worked like a little bit of the time. So we're gonna get like pure white on a switch. Simple lights. Um, keep it a little less tacky. <laughs> Oh yeah, rear bumper, eventually, not anytime soon. I'm working with a guy who's working with another guy, the other guy being shop. Uh, so multiple people on fabricating a downpipe soon because I contacted CFT and they told me $1,500, which is just so stupid. So we're talking about making a downpipe for this truck because you can't really order one. So that'd be pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I uh, just wanted to give you guys an update on what's coming in the future. Just to keep y'all in the loop. I hope you guys like the truck. I love how it looks. I mean, it could use a front bumper, but besides for that, um, I love how it looks. I'm very, very happy with it. Much more vids to come with this truck. I think, oh, also, I think I want to fabricate my own cool air intake for it. Uh, well, work with some shops and do what I mean. Um, because I don't like the CFT one and I don't like the looks of any of the other ones. So I think I kind of want to do my own, my own thing coming up. But a lot of little things I want to do on this truck. So subscribe, guys, so you don't miss out on any content because we got a ton coming, whether it's for the Titan or the 240. Or whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Put a lot of effort into this one. Um, and we're going to do another. We're going to do more videos, more reveals. So subscribe. Stop in the future. See y'all.